Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our ongoing series of lectures on anesthesiology. Today we discuss in this video, supraventricular tachycardia. Pathophysiology, causes, clinical features, treatment, anesthetic management. So let's go to start our lecture. Supraventricular tachycardia. Supraventricular tachycardia is any tachydysarrhythmia, average heart rate of 160 to 180 beats per minute, initiated and sustained by tissue at or above the AV node. AV nodal recent rant tachycardia is the most common type of SVT and accounts for 50% of diagnosed SVT. AVNRT is most commonly a result of a recentry slower AV nodal pathway and retrograde conduction over a faster accessory pathway. Atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter are SVT, but their electrophysiology and treatment are distinctly different from those of SVT. Pathophysiology Caused by rapidly firing ectopic focus in the atria or atrioventricular node. Circular conduction of impulses via abnormal atomical pathway or within the node itself results in recentry and perpetuation of the arrhythmias. Causes May present in normal individual WPW syndrome Laun Gangong Levin syndrome Hyperthyroidism Caffeine Nicotine Alcohol Septal defect. Tricuspid valve disease. Clinical features. Palpitations. Dyspnea. Lightheadedness. Dizziness. Fatigue. Chest discomfort. Polyuria. Hypotension. Cardiac pain. Heart failure. Treatment Supportive, oxygen therapy, intravenous cannulation If the patient is hemodynamically stable then vagal maneuver such as carotid sinus massage or a valsalva maneuver. If this is not effective, pharmacologic treatment directed at blocking AV nodal conduction is indicated. Adenosine, calcium channel blockers, and beta blockers may be used to terminate SVT. Adenosine, 3 mg IV rapidly, repeated after 1 to 2 minutes using 6 mg and then 12 mg if required. It is of rapid onset action and brief duration of action. If no responsive to adenosine then, verapamil 5 to 10 mg IV. Avoided if wide complex SVT. Esmolol, 40 mg IV over a minute followed by 4 mg per minute repeated and increased up to 12 mg per minute respectively. Dignoxin, 0.25 to 0.75 mg over 30 minutes, not useful in acute control of SVT due to delayed peak effect and narrow therapeutic index. Disopyramide. Amiadarane, 900 mg over an hour. Electrical cardioversion is indicated for SVT unresponsive to drug therapy or SVT associated with hemodynamic instability. Radiofrequency catheter ablation may be used to treat recurrent AVNRT. Anesthetic management For patients with a history of SVT, anesthetic management focuses on avoiding precipitating events known to produce ectopy such as Increased sympathetic tone Electrolyte imbalance. Acid-based disturbances. Evaluation and treatment of potential aggravating factors and anticipate the need for antidysrhythmics and or cardioversion. Anesthesia with Dr. T. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.